news we learned this week is that the U.S. government did not take Pfizer up on an offer to purchase 200 million doses of Pfizer's vaccine. And now uh, it seems that the U.S. has found itself in a situation where Pfizer's informed the government it may not be able to provide substantial additional doses until June or July after uh, the first 100 million are used through March. So, I mean, what does that mean for the nation's vaccination campaign? And do you think this was simply a bad call or is it a, a lack of long-term vision? Yeah, you know, I, I don't think it's it's either of those. I think this is a bit of Monday morning quarterbacking. You know, wh when I look back on the response of this administration to, to the pandemic, uh, there are a lot of things that r gravely concern me. But one of the things that I think that they did really well was invest in a big way on the development of vaccines and, and medications to, to counter COVID. Um, and what they did was they gave companies assurances that the US government would purchase vaccine if it were, if it were found to be safe and effective. Um, there are many products that are in development. There are many products that are, that are uh, being tested in, in trials. And so, you know, I expect that what happened was that the government was hedging its bets and didn't want to put too much in any one product in case it turned out that uh, the Pfizer vaccine was less effective than others. Uh, they wanted to be able to have some flexibility there. Uh, the idea that we've got vaccine potentially that people are going to start to get uh, this month um, is to, in my mind, pretty miraculous that that less than a year, uh, uh, less than a year since the the genetic structure of this virus was identified, there will be licensed vaccine for use. Um, that is absolutely uh, a, a, an incredible public health accomplishment.